My name's David Bonning. Uh, the car is a Cara 430 built by Mercury Motorsport. It's an RS200 replica. So, how did you come across the car? I saw the car advertised on eBay uh, and contacted the guy, um, quickly arranged a viewing, went down to uh, Essex uh, and almost purchased it on the spot and collected it a couple of weeks later. So, for those that aren't familiar, um, this is an unusual replica in that they haven't taken the moulds off the original car. No. They've actually created their own. It's a beautiful quality car. Yes. Um, so, so uh, what, what are the physical differences in terms of size? Physical roughly? differences are the sills are deeper. They don't have the, uh, the bungs where the, the jacks go on the originals. Uh, from the arch to the wing, the original comes right down and it's really close to the door. This is around three inches longer. Uh, and the front bumper is different where it hasn't got sort of a, a detachable splitter on the front like the originals. And the running gear is Cosworth? Cosworth, uh, mated now to an Audi A4 gearbox where originally they were mostly put with a Renault 21 yeah. turbo gearbox. And the Renault gearbox is rated to about 300 brake horsepower. Pres I presume that's the but change. Generally, they're like chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> and they get quite expensive now, anyway. So the Audi gearbox. They are, are yes. Basically, I had mine converted to the Audi setup with new clutch, all the things to convert it, and I actually sold my old Renault gearbox for exactly the same money. Fantastic. And the Audi gearbox is much better. So you've got an Audi five-speed gearbox. Yes. Uh, a tuned. Cosworth? It, last time it was rolling roadie it was around 340 brake horsepower. Uh, it wasn't fully running right and the clutch was slightly slipping top end which has now been rectified. It's yet to be rolling roadied and set up properly since then. So it's at least 340? I'd say it's at least 340. I'd, 
probably say around 360, 370. Right, that's plenty. Yeah, it's plenty, <laughs> plenty enough for this. So, you're a Group B fan, I presume. Yes. So, talk me through, because one of the things I've enjoyed with doing a Group B special for my own channel is that um, there's lots of um, lots of people who fell in love with the cars as a kid. Yes. And now they've got their car. Yes. Was it similar for you? Yeah, I remember back to it was I think it was 1985 or 1986 watching the Lombard come through Sutton Park in the Midlands uh, at night, lights on, coming through the the sort of woods or the forest, not much forest there, but uh, that's what started it off for me. Uh, and fast forward a few years, able to afford a replica and use it as much as we can and literally sort of reignited the sort of love of rallying. Now, with the replicas, I think this is the perfect compromise because the real cars are magnificent, but for the road, this is a much better prospect, I would have thought, because you haven't got that four-wheel drive mechanism clunking away and, you know, so, so what's it like as an experience to drive? You can drive it very easily on the road. It's very easy to drive. Uh, I haven't had the pleasure of driving a real one yet, um, but it's, you can drive it easy on the road and also use it if you want to on sort of tarmac, like sort of um, track days or a bit of sort of loose gravel. It's, it's good fun. Which brings me to, to you, you um, I'm filming at the Lombard uh, events and you, you're actually uh, taking the car to one of those as well. Yes, so. we've done it for the last two, two or three years. Uh, really good fun. You get a chance to use the car sort of almost in anger, albeit not competitive. Uh, we're doing it again this year and it should be really, really good fun again. Obviously, you might also have a livery on it at the time as well. We're not sure yet. Yeah, you're still deciding on the livery. Yes. I know you, 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 you're really torturing yourself over that. Yeah, we, we're not sure whether to go traditional diagonal stripes or go for something different that you don't really see that much. So you're going to go for a, a, a livery that a original RS200 was in, yes. but it might not be the factory livery that... Yeah, yeah, we, we, we decided we have to go one, one which would have been original put on the cars, or we have got one which is nothing like any original kit, which we could put on, but we're just not sure yet. We don't and, up, upset and anyone. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me back to your business as well, because graphics is your your business as well. Yes, we, we supply a lot of Ford graphics, not necessarily for rally cars as Ford graphics, but we supply a lot of reproduction Ford graphics, and we're licensed by Ford Motor Company as well, and we've been trading 21 years this year. And how do people find you? Is it online? All online, all online. Some people, a lot of it's word of mouth as well. We do a lot of shows, um, but a lot of it, it's a lot of online buying. So, so tell us you, the name of your company, because so, we're allowed to plug, it's not the BBC. Okay. It's DMB Graphics Limited, uh, website is dmb.uk.com, we've got a lot of old stuff on there, Capris, Escorts, all the old stuff, uh, a lot of new stuff as well, uh, and we send all over the world. And going back to the replica, um, how practical is it in terms of, uh, you haven't got the four wheel drive mechanism, does that create a bit of space? There is space, there's sort of, I'll say a bit of luggage space in the front, uh, albeit not a lot. Um, we did make the mistake of one event we did where we, we were actually travelling, doing a stage, and we got to travel to a hotel at the end of those stages, went through Western Park through the water splash, hence the water went over the car instead of under it, and all our luggage was wet. <laughs> so there is a slight bit of luggage in the front, not much else for anything else. Yeah, but I mean, you didn't have a backup crew. You did the you did the traditional rally thing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, so we got round it. We sort of we managed to do the uh, the evening event in what clothes we got left. But no, it was it was good fun. And and apart from events, how how often do you get to use the car? Probably sort of. We only do demo events. The car isn't sort of MSA spec or anything like that. It's not sort of. It can't compete as such. Uh, but the demo events that we can do. We try to do probably about four a year, but then obviously take the car out whenever we can, outside of those. Yeah, 
And what's the public reaction to the car when you're out in the streets? To be honest, everybody who sees it, who doesn't know about them, almost thinks it's a real one. I'll never try and disguise it as a real one. Yeah. I'll always tell people it is a replica, but they like just seeing the car because it brings back memories for them as well. A lot of them, for obviously from Group B rallying. And there weren't that many of these replicas made. There's probably more group real RS200s. There probably is, to be honest. There's a few different reincarnations of the RS200 replicas. Obviously, the Cara 430, as the Bannams. Uh, obviously, some of them are based on MR2s. Obviously, this is full, full space frame. So, obviously, engines in the back. Uh, twin shocks on the back, singles on the front. Uh, some of them are based around sort of a, an existing car and the panels mated to it. How long have you owned the car? My memory is not the best, it's about three or four years, probably closer to four years uh, I've owned it. And um, any future plans regarding the car, or are you happy with it as it is? We're always tinkering with it. Uh, the next thing which we're getting completed before the next event, uh, which is a stage at Park Brim back in Wales, is the electric cutoff and a couple of other bits and pieces just to sort of improve it slightly. New tyres, which will be better for sort of tarmac. The other thing I noticed, the interior, compared with, say, a uh, Stratos replica. Yes. I could fit in this, and I, I, th I thought, this, that's a, a driving position you could actually quite comfortably spend some time in. Yeah, it's, it's quite roomy when you're in there. The seat almost isn't adjustable, so you sit where you sit. Um, but it is very comfortable for driving and on, a, on a sort of even a day to day. And you've even got a bit of trim in there and Yeah, everything. We've, we've got a dashboard. Um, <laughs> the replicas mainly come with Sierra dashes, although you can buy a sort of a, a replica of the original 200 dash as well.
thank you very much for letting us look at your car and uh, it is a beautiful uh, uh, thing and it is a credit to you sir. Thank you, thank you. Can't take all the credit, I never built it but I'll try and do what I can now.